Hi, this is John Marling, Pulse Research. We truly appreciate the opportunity to support you with a new Pulse Call Planner program. This video is kind of an introduction, an overview, a video guide to launching and effectively getting the most results out of your new Call Planner program. We've designed the program to be as simple and as easy as possible for you. Your resource, resource to prepare a call plan, i.e. with prospects, and to record your sales activity during the week without any, you know, hassle. And if you're required to, at the end of the week, submit your call sheet. Quick overview of the Pulse Call Planner program. It's unique in that it provides you with the opportunity to identify hot leads, the specific business categories that in the real world are the business categories that will say yes to a consistent campaign in a community newspaper like yours. More on that in just a second. The next part of the call plan is putting together a specific prospect list, you know, for your n normal day or week or for a special project, like you got a special section coming up for health and wellness. And I'll show you how to identify, you know, very quickly, very easily prospects for a special section like health or wellness. The next step, obviously, in a call planner program is recording your sales activity. But we've made it really, really easy so that you're able to record your sales activities during the period and without any hassle, prepare your call sheet to submit, if required, you know, to your manager at the end of the period. Let's go live and take a quick look at the Pulse Call Planner program. First of all, you log in with your own username and password. And by the way, the Pulse Call Planner program is usable, enhanced on every single device, including your smartphone. So first of all, you access your call planner right here. So I put a few businesses already in my call plan. So you can see them right here. So let's identify some hot leads to put into your uh, prospect plan, okay? Now there are five ways to add businesses to your call plan. Number one is through a map of your sales territory. Number two is hot prospects ranked by Pulse by actual use and close ratio. The third way is reader buying power to be able to identify opportunities based upon the total spending of your audience. The fourth way is you can just type in the name of the specific business and add it to your call plan. And then the fifth way is in accounts to add a business, type it in, add it to your account list, and then add that business to your call plan. So those are the five ways that you can add a business to your Pulse call plan. So let's take a look at the first way, and that's with a map of your territory. So you click on the map here, and it'll bring you to a map of your territory, which you can save so every time you come back, it will bring you right to the map of your sales territory. So you can just scroll around and identify business. Oh my gosh, that you might have overlooked, okay? Then you click on a particular business, and then you click on Add it to your call plan. It's as simple as that. And so now we've added, you know, that Dutch Brothers Coffee to the call plan. Now let's go back to our dashboard, and this time let's go to Hot Prospects. This is my recommendation because it's very effective for two reasons. Number one is to identify the business categories that have the highest propensity to say yes. This is the low-hanging fruit. So there's over 500 business categories, but what unique is, these are, this is the actual close ratio, average sale, and the most sold rate across the Pulse network. Every time an ad rep, and by the way, we've got over 5,000 ad reps using the program, they create a presentation and automatically logs it. Then what they put in, what happened, then we know the close ratio, the average sale, and the number sold. Nobody else has this. It is real world and is a great resource to you. So I clicked on sold rank and look at here. Here's the top 10 categories most sold. Look at that, number nine on the list, financial advisor. Want to see more? Here's the top 25 most sold. Once again, this is actual real world. So you go, oh my gosh, let's look at financial advisors. You just click on find. Up will come a map of financial advisors. We just click here to zero in, okay? So you make sure you get ones in your territory, or you can come over here on the list and then just click on some financial planners 
and add them to your call plan. Once again, as simple as that. Now let's go to our call plan. And as you can see, the business has been added to your call plan. So that's a very, very effective way. But let's go back to the hot prospects, if I might. Okay, we'll go here, hot prospects. And now we've got that health and wellness special section coming up that I promised to you know, give you some tips and suggestions on getting some hot prospects for. So now you click on category and you organize the over 500 businesses by category. Okay, so you got apparel, arts and entertainment, automotive, etc. Okay, and you come down here and health and medical. Perfect. Okay. So now look at all the business categories we have right at your fingertips to put together a specific prospect list for your health and medical or health and wellness special section. So let's click here on medical spot. We click on find. Once again, up comes a list by map or you can add the businesses, you know, with your click just there and they add them to your call plan. Okay. So once again, as simple as that. Now let's go back to the dashboard once again. And remember, you can also do reader buying for. I want to mention this, by the way, because Ad Rep said in the other day, well, RV dealerships, there's a, such a small percentage going to buy from an you know, RV dealership. The percentage may be small, but let's take a look at the total projected spending of your audience for RVs. So just type in RV, by the way, you can do search to the program. And look at that. In this example, $81 million are going to be spent by this audience, this example, on RVs. How did we get that? We take the percentage you plan to buy from the Pulse of America survey times the number of households reached, and this would be your households reached, okay? To give you the number of households you reach, you're going to shop at an RV dealership times the average spending at an RV dealership. RVs are expensive, by the way, $75,000, $81.5 million. And by the way, this is very, very effective at overcoming probably one of your most challenging objections that print is dead. So once again, you just click on find. Up comes a list of RV dealerships. You click on add to call plan, and it's as simple as that. We've added Keystone now, you know, to our call plan. Okay? And then the other way is with accounts, and that's pretty simple. So those are the ways to add businesses to your call plan. Now let me show you how easy it is next step to add sales activity to your call plan so let's take a particular business here keystone rv that we just entered we can update any information by the way into the account database but let's click here and add sales activity and these steps here are sales activities near your real world step number one what type of call is it i went in in person what was the purpose of the call this was a cold call for new business, okay? And what did I show them? I showed them the teaser to start the conversation. What did I present? Print and digital. So depending upon what you do at that particular call, you can check off on each one of the steps here. So the sales status, the next action, like a proposal, the next date, and you can enter notes. So once you've completed these specific steps for that business, for that particular visit, you just click on Log Activity. It's as simple as that. Okay, so here we've added to Keystone RV, you know, our sales activity. And you merely do that for each business during the week. And then at the end of the week, you click here on Call Planner, and then up comes your call plan. You click on Print. You can save your call plan as a PDF and mail it into your, you know, email it to your manager, or you can print your call report, call sheet, you know, and turn it in. So that's a quick overview. If you have any questions or anything we can assist with, email support, S-U-P-P-O-R-T, at pulseresearch.com, or just click up here on help, okay? Or send me an email, John Marling, and my email is marling, M-A-R-L-I-N-G, at paper.net. Once again, we sure appreciate the opportunity to help you identify hot prospects, your call planner program is designed to assist and help you get more local advertising and put more commissions in your pocket. Thank you very much. We sure appreciate it.